Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad and today we are revisiting a video that we did about a year ago with our 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. So in that video, I took the car to the dyno and we wanted to see if there is additional horsepower to be gained from using 93 octane when compared to 87. In this video, we're gonna revisit that. Now that I live in Denver, Colorado, now that I am at altitude, approximately 6,000 feet above sea level, and unfortunately, now that I only have access to 91 octane, I wanna see what the difference is between 87 and 91. Since moving to Denver and since moving from the 87 octane to the 91 octane, I actually do feel a difference. The car feels more responsive. It does feel like it has a little bit more pull. I don't know if the difference that I'm feeling is a placebo effect simply because the weather is changing. We're going from warmer temperatures to cooler temperatures, going from summertime to the fall time. Maybe I'm just noticing that. So if you're interested in finding out what the difference is between 87 octane and 91 octane, strictly from a horsepower perspective. We're not talking about the health and longevity of the engine or that it's higher octane is more beneficial for a turbocharged car. I'm gonna leave that for another time. We're simply talking about, is there a difference in horsepower and torque when we compare 87 to 91 octane? So if you wanna find out, then stay tuned. If you like 10th generation Honda Accords, like our project car, or if you can see in the background, we have an ND Mazda Miata, which is our second project car. If you're interested in product reviews, if you're just curious how much horsepower cars are putting out on the dyno, which I've gotten a lot more into lately, then consider subscribing. And don't just subscribe, but click on that notification bell so that you're made aware of future videos. And of course, if you like this video, please, Give it a thumbs up.
Okay, so what happened? What happened was we ran a whole bunch of runs. Um, I think it was maybe two, four, six, maybe about six, seven different runs. And all of them clearly indicate a higher peak horsepower and peak torque on 91 octane than on 87 octane. But don't look just at the peak because if you look at those, the differences are not huge. It's what, three, four wheel horsepower. So it's not significant, it's not a big number, but what I liked and what I believe is much more important is the fact that we have space, we have a delta, we have a gap throughout the entire rev range. So from the moment that we start testing on the dyno all the way to red line, there is a difference, there is an increase in both horsepower and torque. And in some spots, it's pretty significant. So it's not just two, three, four horsepower. And this makes sense. Like I said, at least this time around, I did feel that like the car was more responsive. I felt like it had more pull. It, it was noticeable and it is reflected in the dyno graphs that we have. So I'm really happy we ran this test. Really happy to see such a big difference in 87 and 91. I mean, this is an 87 and 93, and I can't explain why we didn't see as big of a difference the first time around, but I'm in a different location. The car has more mileage. Maybe it's different gas. Okay. We're going to continue dynoing our cars, both the Honda Accord and the Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. However, I'm also interested in dining, dynoing your car. So if you have a car, doesn't have to be Honda Accord, doesn't have to be uh, Mazda Miata. If you have a car that you have modified, if you'd like to see what type of horsepower, what level of horsepower and torque it's putting out, I am offering for a limited time only to pay for those baseline runs. So no tuning in between the runs. We'll just strap it down to the dyno. We'll see how much horsepower it's producing. If you're interested, please reach out, send me an email, let me know what you have. Let me know why you want to dyno your car. Of course, you have to be in the Denver metro area. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining and until next time.